Hey everyone, it's Monica. Welcome back to my Bible journaling channel. Today is Wednesday, which means that it is time for another installment in my Bible journaling how-to series. Today we are going to be talking all about these ink tense blocks over there to the side. These are made by Derwent and they are quickly becoming one of my favorite things to use in my Bible, and so I'm so excited to share them with you today. Now I'm going to be making use of one of my rest templates. This one is from Matthew 11:28, and these templates are available on my Facebook group page in the files section, and they all have to do with the theme of rest, and they all have some images on them in a stained glass art sort of style. So if you haven't checked out the video where I share all these templates, I will link it in the info cards and you can get a glimpse at the seven different templates that are available to you as a subscriber of this YouTube channel. This has to be the most commonly quoted verse about rest. These are the words of Jesus asking us to come to him and he will give us rest. This is the section from Matthew chapter 11, as I said. And beginning in verse 28, Jesus says, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So the first method of using these ink tense blocks that I'm sharing with you currently is just utilizing them the way you would a watercolor palette. So I'm simply wetting the block that I'm using and then just painting directly onto the page. As a side note, this page has not been prepped with anything. I am painting directly onto the Bible paper itself. And I mentioned these are becoming one of my favorite things to use in the Bible. And one reason for that is that they do not bleed through. You'll want to check that for yourself because every Bible is different. But I have found that these give you a wonderful, wonderful range of color without going through to the page on the back. Now I am stepping into this other technique that I love to use my ink tense blocks for, and that is using them like a crayon to sort of outline a shape. And after that step, I go in with this damp watercolor brush and I simply blend the edge together and then kind of rinse the brush off and just use water to fill in the rest. And this technique is how you get them to look a little bit more like a watercolor. This is how you get them to be a little bit more pale, a little bit more subdued, a little less vibrant. You can see the vibrancy of the lettering on my Bible page and compare that with kind of the softer colors that are going onto this stained glass window here. So I chose to go ahead and draw a yoke, just as a reminder to me that God is ready and willing to share our burdens with us. In fact, he invites us to come to him and he will give us rest. Sometimes life just gets feeling so heavy this is such an amazing teaching of Jesus that he is just ready and willing to bear things with us and to give us rest. I have another video that I use the same technique in and I will link that in the info cards. It's a really fun passage as well where Jesus talks about speaking to a mountain and casting it into the sea. So if you'd like to check that video out up in the upper right hand corner of your screen, there are some information cards and one of them will be for that video where I use this same technique. And you can see it's just such a fun way to utilize these ink tense blocks. Now these ink tense blocks also come in pencil form, which makes them look and appear a little bit more like a watercolor pencil. And I don't actually own that kind of ink tense, but 
I really, really love having the blocks because of this versatility and because I don't ever have to sharpen them, if I'm honest. But I have really, really enjoyed getting to use these in my Bible. If you don't have a set of these intense blocks, that is perfectly fine as well. You can definitely accomplish a very similar look by using acrylic paints or watercolors or watercolor pencils, colored pencil, anything you have. Really, Bible journaling is not as much about the products you're using as it is about the time that you are getting to spend with the Lord in His Word. Now I've transitioned to a Faber-Castell Pit Artist pen. This is a brush tip pen, and I went ahead and used the brush tip to outline the yoke itself and also the outer edge of the stained glass image. And now I'm going back in with a finer point black pen to fill in the rest. And I was hoping that would sort of set the yoke apart in the image. Here's a peek at the back of the page. As you can see, you can absolutely tell that there's something on the page, but there's been no bleeding or damage to the page itself. I am simply adding a little bit of a shadow to the words come and the word rest to give it a little bit more definition on the page. And then I'm simply finishing up by underlining the scripture verse that goes with this image. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I hope that you check out my Facebook group and get a hold of all of my rest templates so that you can use them in your Bible, in your time with the Lord. If you did enjoy this video, here's a couple more videos of mine you might also enjoy. Be sure to click on my face. It will take you over to my channel where you can subscribe and check out my other playlists and fun things over there. Have a great day. Jump into the Word of God for yourself. It is amazing.